everyone, welcome to Minecraft. Today, I'll be building this mid-sized house behind me, so let's get started. So first things first is to choose a suitable location. I thought this elevated area was a nice place to start building. So I'm just going to start here by removing all the leaves and trees with world edit so I can build the frame. And I don't know the dimensions of the frame off the top of my head, but I'll overlay them in the video now if you want to build this exact house. Each floor in this house is five blocks tall or has a four block interior. And I vary each floor with different depths. The second floor juts out one block from the first and the third floor, the cobblestone is recessed into the wall one block. And that just gives it more depth. For the roofs, I, because this is a rustic house, I wanted them to look a little weathered. So I had it sagging in the middle and placed slabs and stairs somewhat randomly just to make it look like it was weathered. And I did the same thing here for the larger roof. Now on the front side of the build here, I had an extra room that I attached, which will become a bathroom. And that was attached to the second floor. And then on the other side of the house, I added a little balcony area and that attached to the third floor. I go ahead and detail the rest of the build with slabs and uh, trap doors and buttons and stuff. Now from here our main frame is done and I can start by detailing the rest of the house. I detail the joints of each one of the support beams with trap doors or buttons and I add the windows in and I try to make each one look a little bit different unless they were windows of the same type like the attic windows or the ones on the back of the house. In addition to this I'm adding cobblestone stairs into the walls to add a little bit more depth as well as minor details to the rest of the build. So the last couple of things to do on the house is to add a chimney and add some detailing to the roofs. I used three different types of blocks for the chimney just to break up the texture and then I added some leaves over the top of the roofs just to add in some color and to make the roofs look less boring. And I used cobblestone and stone and polished andesite I believe for the chimney. I then detailed the attic windows and that was about it for the house. Next up, I start the windmill by starting with a stone base. And then I use a similar palette to the house because I wanted them to look the same, both weathered and rustic. And then I add a 5x5 five five room on top with also its own little balcony. The roof on the balcony leads up to the main roof and I use a similar tactic to the roofs on the house. Getting a roof like this to look right can take some trial and error. I was going for a messy look, but I don't want to place down blocks randomly, but I also want to keep a weathered look. Luckily there's a lot of leeway here because things can be slightly off and still look good because that's kind of the point of the entire roof style. For the interior of the windmill, I placed down a bed and some other furniture just to make it look like someone lives there or if you wanted to have a guest over, they could sleep here. Heading back outside, I just made some minor adjustments to the overall structure, and then I added some more supports on the middle section because that was too thin. And then I detailed it like the house with the trap doors and buttons. I added a flag on the back, and then of course the blades in the front, and that's about it for the windmill. Heading into the house, I added a spiral staircase in the back, which goes all the way up to the attic, a desk and some other decoration blocks, as well as a bunch of chests for storage. The second floor is where I added the kitchen and like a family room area. I added some tables and chairs and furnaces and brewing stands. In the back little area under the first roof that I built, uh, that's where I put brewing stands and stuff and then some other decorations like a TV and a sofa. But there is a trap door next to the TV which I will get to in a moment. And I put a little parrot in. 
And then that trapdoor by the wall over by the TV is what leads outside and right under the balcony where that glowstone block is. It just looks like a, a way to get stuff up to the second floor without needing to travel each flight of stairs. On the third floor I added a bedroom and a closet in the back just for some more storage and then I added a rug and some other uh, decoration blocks. And then this heads directly up into the attic where I put a fireplace which actually connects to the chimney I built earlier. And then I built a enchantment table and then just some more decorations. And then there's more storage at the top of the ceiling just for random blocks and stuff. And that's it for the interiors. The last thing to do is just build a couple more small buildings and detail the surrounding area. So I start by connecting the windmill and the house with the path and then I led a path down to the beach over here. I built the path out of cobblestone, stone, and andesite. And then I varied in some slabs and stairs just to make it look worn out. And then I added a waterfall to the right. I was going to make it a fountain, but I decided that it looked better, more natural. And then I just added a couple of umbrellas and chairs. And then I finished it off with some bamboo sticks. Back up the hill, I added some leaves on top of the windmill. And then I extended the path out, off into the forest. And then I added some stumps to make it look like some trees had been chopped down. After that, I built a fence around the cliffside. And then I built smaller paths around the windmill, and this is where the farm goes in. And I filled that in with wheat. And I included a pond and put more light posts on the fence. And then the hay bales, I think, are a good final touch to the windmill. Next, the last actual building is like a horse stable slash pig farm. Though behind that I built a campfire with two logs and then I extended a dirt path around which connects to the back door and to the campfire as well. Now it's time for the final touches. I just change everything to stone and then I put in some cobblestone just to break up the texture a little bit. And then I place in some stairs and slabs and cobblestone walls just to add some depth. And then I attach a cliffside fence here too with some lights on it as well. Final touches here, I just add in a mine, which doesn't really go anywhere. Then I make some final adjustments to the fence around the cliff. And then I build one last fence a around the other side of the house. So that does it for the speed build. It's cinematic time and enjoy the rest of the video.